let's talk drivers. Hi everybody, I'm Coach Carolyn, Leadbetter Certified Instructor and former professional tour player. And today I want to talk about my drivers. And my driver has always been my most favorite club in the bag when I was playing ever since I was young and that has never changed to this day. And I'm not the longest hitter out there, but I do hit it about you know 260 yards. 265 yards uh, on a good day and I hit a fade so that's actually really good for a fader because usually if you're a drawer you tend to have more topspin and then you tend to have more roll but it's not all about the distance it's really about hitting it straight because we are all in camp hitting it straight and far and we all know that usually when you hit it really really far you do compromise on your direction which can also lead to higher scores so today i want to talk to you guys about my three drivers and they're all callaway i do love callaway and i think it's great to have a comparison between all of these different callaway drivers i actually rotate and change these drivers out depending on the conditions that day and that's actually what a lot of tour players do as well it really depends on how windy it is it depends on how the course sets up let's jump into it so first off we have our rogue driver and this was callaway's model from two years ago and i really really love this driver so i'm going to put these guys back here until i am done showing you this one so we have the rogue head with a ventus fujikura 50 gram stiff shaft really pretty race car right here i mean this is like the ferrari of shafts the valocor and my head has a nine degree loft but i always put it to plus one if you can see this right here plus one and that actually makes a big difference you guys if you want to you know play around with these little settings on the hosel of your driver and the neck of your driver it makes a difference a lot of people don't think it does but it does so if you have a situation where the ball just doesn't fly high enough for you doesn't launch high enough put it up just put it up all you got to do is get a wrench and you got to turn this little screw out right here and then you just put it up to plus one and this one actually feels the softest off the face for me personally. Um, I really like that on a day where there is not a lot of wind, where I can just go after it, where I can hammer the ball and just try to nuke it down the middle of the fairway. Um, and with this shaft, this is a stiff shaft. Um, I usually play stiff shafts. I have one of these colleagues of drivers over here with a regular shaft, um, but it really depends on the setup of the driver and the driver itself. So each head is different. Um, each shaft is different and each combo is different and I think a lot of people don't understand this if they don't love their drivers what matters the most is the combination so you may not have to change your driver head you may just need to change your shaft and co the combination of both is what really makes the magic happen so I switch my shafts out all the time because I love to see what it does to them so this one um, I actually switched this shaft into my rogue driver even though I did love my setup and this is my paradigm driver I'm gonna show you guys this too. So pretty. I mean, this this has to be the prettiest driver Callaway ever made. I will say that it is stunning. This is the shaft that I had in my actual uh, rogue before. This is the Tensei uh, 55 stiff flex. So both of these shafts are stiff. This shaft right here um, actually launches higher. It has a different kick point. So these two, this head and this shaft were the original combination. And then this shaft, the Valacor shaft was in this paradigm. The paradigm head is a much less high launching head for me. So it still has nine degrees. If you look at this, just like my Rogue, same exact loft. I'm also putting it up to plus one, same exact setting. So settings are exactly the same. They're both Callaway drivers, but it still launches lower. Um, and the face actually on this paradigm feels a lot harder compared to the Rogue. And that's not a negative thing, it's just that it feels harder. Um, so for people that have higher club head speeds, harder faces can feel really good. For people with lower club head speeds, they usually prefer a softer face. Um, I'm kind of in the middle, so I can go either way. It really is a more of a preference for me uh, and a conditional preference, depending on the day. Now, I truly, truly love this driver um, and I, do switch this uh, Velocore shaft into my Paradigm if I actually want to have it launch less high. So on a very windy day, I'm going to make this red to Paradigm head combination and it's just not going to go very high, but it's going to allow me to hit it super straight. Um, and the wind's not going to touch it. It's not going to have like all the carry in the world, but that's not what I'm going for when the weather is bad and when there is a ton of wind. So those are my two Rogue and Paradigm drivers. I hope you guys like this combination. They both have the jailbreak AI technology, but they do feel very, very different. And I encourage you guys to go get a fitting and try these out and see how different they feel and be creative. Again, take your wrench and change your settings. You have this little screw right here and I've changed the weight all the way to draw actually 
because I'm a fader and sometimes when I don't have my best swing in the bag, I actually do um, lose it to the right a little bit. So having that draw piece, that weight on draw helps me release the club. A lot of people don't think equipment can make a difference. It can guys, listen to me, be creative, change your shafts. If you have an old driver and you really liked it, take the shaft out and put your new shaft into your old driver head be creative. You can create so many different shaft and driver combinations um, and then you can really test out what feels best. So you don't always just have to hit the one combination. We're getting to the latest and greatest of Callaway's lineup, which is the AI Smoke. Look at this guy. It looks really cool. I do really love the look of it. It kind of looks like a matte you know, race car. In the beginning, when I tried this the first time through the Paradigm, it felt again a little bit harder on the face. Um, but I will say I've been hitting it the last two weeks and I love it. And it literally comes off the face like a bullet. I really, really like it. For some reason for me, it actually draws a little bit more uh, than the standard driver, which I'm happy with because again, as I said, I'm losing it a little bit to the right if I'm having you know, problems or if I make a bad swing. And this actually is a regular flex. So on this one, I went to a regular flex and I also cut the shaft down half an inch. So if you see this, if I compare this to my other drivers, you'll see it's actually just a little bit shorter. Check it out. So this different, this actually, it doesn't look like much of a difference guys, but it's a huge difference in your swing. And I've been working on eliminating that last few inches of my driver swing over the last couple of months. And I just couldn't seem to be doing it. I'll show you what I mean here. I basically had such a hard time not over swinging by just a little bit. And so that's why I said I want to cut this down because actually the length of your club makes a huge difference if you're trying to not overswing. Obviously, if you're overswinging a ton, there has to be, there's other problems. But if you're overswinging just a bit and if you're fighting this constantly and you feel like you haven't been able to get rid of it, just cut your clubs down a little bit. It's so easy. Again, use your equipment for your advantage. You don't have to be perfect. Make your equipment work for you. All right, so when you look at my swing, I struggled with the last couple of frames in my backswing. So I'll take it back and I'll be like, here and it'll be parallel and then I'll just be like eh. and I was so annoyed by those last few frames that I just couldn't get rid of and now with this one because it's shorter I really feel like much more in control because again it's just that little little bit of cut down but I feel like I actually can control that club down quicker and I don't have so much weight on the back of the club right here that pulls me the other way so it makes a huge difference let's hit one right here yeah, nice little draw. I truly love this driver. And I do feel like, you know, when they say sweeter from every spot, this is kind of the marketing angle of this driver to say that you're actually going to be able to not miss it very far and still get distance if you don't hit it in the sweet spot. I don't disagree with that. I will say that. Um, it feels really good from wherever I hit it on the face. Ideally, I hit it in the middle, but you know, granted, I don't every time. That's just all of us. Gonna hit my paradigm for you guys. Again, the prettiest driver ever made by Callaway. This is definitely winning the beauty contest, but I also love the feel of it. It's different, but I like it. Yeah, this guy just has a lot less spin. It's just the head. The driver head is, just doesn't really move much. And I do like this on a windy day because I feel like I'm very much in control with this driver. Again, even if I switch out the shaft to the red one, even more so. So this one is super versatile. And now we're going to get to my favorite. This is my Rogue. And it's just my standard driver. If on a regular day, if I'm just pulling on my driver and it's beautiful like today, this is the one I'll be hitting. Yeah, I just really like that sound. I like that feel. It's going to run. And it's just something that suits me really, really well on a day-to-day -day basis. So all in all, guys, this is my little bouquet of drivers and I love them all equally like my children. They're stunning, but I just wanted to encourage you guys to actually be creative, try different things, change your shafts, go from a stiff to a regular and just make your clubs work for you. Don't just take it for granted as it is. If somebody hands you a driver, you're like, oh, this doesn't work. I need a completely new one. You don't. Play around with it, change your settings, change the weights, change your shafts and you'll see a world of a difference. I hope you enjoyed this. If you liked it, subscribe below. Let me know what you think in the comments. I always love to hear from you guys and I'll see you next time.